Hey everyone, good evening. This is Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. Welcome to my YouTube class. In previous class of uh, how to become system administrator, we talked about the most common issues related to the desktop. This is another session and in this class, I am going to guide you about how we can manage the basic of networking because you know that if you really want to perform a good task as a system administrator, so you must need to know about how we can resolve the basic issues related to the networking. I am talking about like no internet access, user unable to share data from one machine to another machine, user unable to map network drive and lots of activity like printer sharing is also a part of networking. So in this class, I am going to guide you about how we can manage the local area network, what are the components required, what is the IP address, what is MAC address, difference between a PIPA IP address and loopback address. We will also discuss about the importance of MAC or physical address. So this is the agenda of this particular class. I am moving ourselves to the screen and guide you about what are the points that we are going to cover in case of basic of networking. So let me move ourselves to the screen. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. I hope you guys are able to see my screen. This is the previous class that we discussed, the content we covered in previous class like how we can resolve the system slow performance, BSOD, no internet access. So these points we have already covered in our previous class. Uh, if you want to go through the video, please click on the i button, you will get the entire detail related to this troubleshooting. So I am going to add one more point which is really important for every system administrator. This is basic of networking, right? This is really important for everyone because we are responsible to take care the basic of networking for any organization if you are working as a system administrator. So let me guide you about the agenda, what are the topics that we are going to cover. So we can start from the very basic like as uh, uh, you can say that uh, the first and really important thing you need to know about uh, the use cases of uh, just give me one minute I need to activate the my pen tab because I will try to give you the complete information like theoretical and practical both. So content, we are going to start from the what is networking. This is really important for us. We must need to know about uh, what is networking. And we will also discuss about local area network, right? LAN, metropolitan area network, which is considered as a MAN. We also need to know about the wide area network. So these three different way we have to establish our network environment. Mainly we will focus on the local area network because our responsibility we should know about how we can manage our local area network environment uh, because most of the tasks we are going to perform within the organization. Internet come into the picture to access any uh, website, to send email, to download data, these types of activity we can perform with the help of internet. Number third which is really important you should know about IP address means what is IP address, what is class classes of IP address, range of IP address, you also need to know about range of IP address. Then we will also discuss about uh, uh, default subnet mask, right? default subnet mask and we will talk about IP version. right? So these all point we are going to cover. Number four, we will also discuss about CIDR calculation how we can calculate the usable IP address. Number fifth, we will talk about uh, private IP range, right? We, know, we need to know about the private IP address range. After that, we will also discuss about static and dynamic IP address, right? You also need to know about the gap between the basic and dynamic disk, not disk, basic and dynamic IP address. We will talk about the another important part like as in case of networking, you should know about the usage of a PIPA IP address, about the loopback address and we will also talk about the concept of MAC address. So guys, these all point we are going to cover like related to the basic of networking. Maybe I need to create another video to cover all the content. 
but let me start from the very basic about the networking so very basic steps required to set up our network environment you should know about as a system administrator we have a two different method to establish our network i'm talking about the wired network and wireless network so you should know about what are components required to set up our wired network what are the tools are devices required to set up our wireless network environment so let's start from the first topic about networking so networking whenever we make communication between two different devices consider as a network whenever we transfer the data from one machine to another machine automatically consider as a network right so i'm going to divide it into two different part the first one is related to wired network and second we are going to establish kind of wireless network right you need to know about the gap between wired and wireless network in case of wired network what are the components required you must need to use one mediator it may be switch or hub it's fully depend upon you which types of uh, setup you want to establish like you want to establish a network for the broadcasting you want to set up a local area network with security you always proceed with the manageable switch so nowadays definitely we need to add one mediator consider as a switch all the machines are directly connected to this particular mediator device medium device so with the help of cable with the help of rj connector right we are able to make communication between each other let's talk about wireless network so in case of wireless network you must need to use one mediator the mediator is considered as a access point yes it is also considered as a wifi router you can also say that this is wifi router guys this is not a cisco router this is normal wifi router who responsible to distribute your signals without wire and provide the access of uh, provide the connectivity between the all devices which are available in the network environment so with the help of wireless we are able to make communication between laptop between desktop your mobile phone any kind of tablet you are using so these devices we can connect without cable or without wire is all right so the if anyone ask you question about what is networking so you can say that uh, whenever we make communication between more than one devices to each other especially i'm talking about the computer and laptops whenever we make communication between more than one uh, computer or devices which is considered as a network and with the help of network we are able to perform lots of tasks you should know about benefits of networking or why we need to establish our network infrastructure n number of reason that we are going to establish the first one is we can set up our network for data sharing we can establish our network for device or you can say that resource sharing you can share your devices you can share your uh, uh resources any kind of resources like as a printer uh, storage uh, you want to share anything like a pen drive or external hard drive so you can do that the another important part internet sharing the meaning of internet sharing for example you establish one connection like i'm talking about the broadband connection and with the help of single broadband connection you want to provide the access of internet to multiple devices you want to access the internet from multiple or different different devices then internet sharing come into the picture that help you to use same uh, internet connection we can use same internet connection to provide the access of internet from multiple devices from your mobile phone for your laptop from your desktop as well so these all are the reason apart from the these important services we can also like as we can manage the mailing activity right we can perform the task of mapping drive any kind of drive that you want to map within the organization you can do that so lots of features are involved in case of making our network infrastructure making our local area network and second important part we also need to know about the lan man and when very simple steps required to understand about the gap between these three different points let's talk about not man we can start from local area network then metropolitan area network and then you also need to know about the wide area network in case of local area network whenever we set up our infrastructure 
within the organization if you are going to set up a network infrastructure within the environment within the office means all the devices are directly connected to the mediator i am talking about the switch if all the devices are connected with the mediator and we are able to transfer data between each other but make sure all the machines are available in same floor or in the same building which is considered as a local area network about metropolitan area network for example the uh, the network that you establish may be in location of uh, india another branch you are going to establish in location of maybe dubai right the another branch you want to establish in location of dubai this is your branch that you establish in dubai location and you are trying to make communication between both the branches right so in this situation metropolitan area network come into the picture with the help of man network we are able to make connectivity but the prerequisite you must need to involve one cisco router one cisco router you need to attach in location of india one cisco router required to set up in location of dubai as well and both are connected with the isp we just need to add both the devices with the help of internet service provider and once you set up our local area network once you set up our metropolitan area network means man network we are able to make communication between those devices between the devices that we establish in two different geographical location right so what you need to do we just need to provide the ip address like uh, the ip address contained by these devices 192.168.1.0/24 the another branch contain 172.16.1.0/25 we are able to make communication between those devices which are available in india location to the, the dubai location we can make communication to each other by using the private ip address only because of router we added in the environment all right guys i hope you guys are able to understand about the basic of networking and i'm going to guide you the complete information according to the the content that i mentioned i'll give you the complete information so stay tuned with teach me cloud and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel we'll connect soon with another class and discuss more about the networking for every system administrator it's really important for us we must need to know about the base of networking how to set up our network infrastructure we'll connect soon in next session Take care guys bye bye do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel